into it. This morning, we're going to deal with the eyes have it. The eyes have it. The text, the talk, the takeaway. Here's the text. Matthew 6, 22. Matthew 6, 22 and 23. Listen, you've heard it before. You're going to get some revelation with it this morning. The eye is the lamp of the body. If your eyes are good, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eyes are bad, then your whole body will be full of darkness. Here is Jesus. He's teaching in the book of Matthew about the eyes. Let me share a couple of things about the eyes before we move into it. Proverbs, the proverbial writer in 30, 17 says this, eyes are the windows of the soul. You remember in Genesis when Jacob wrestled with God all night long, he finally got his blessing and he had the pineal gland. The pineal gland helps you to see. Part of what he got was the blessing of being able to see. When he laid his head on Bethel, the rock, and he saw us angels ascending and descending. It's the pineal gland, what he sees, what God calls him to be able to see. Your eyes are the windows of your soul. Your eyes are going to take you wherever you want to go. So let's deal with that this morning. Let's deal with the eyes have it. There's three things I want to share with you on this morning that the eyes have it. Here's the talk. The first thing you need to do in order for the eyes to have what God has for you is this. Shut your eyes to fear. Please shut your eyes. Shut your eyes. Just close, close those eyes. Shut your eyes to fear. The fear of failure will paralyze you and fear and faith cannot coexist. There's some things God is calling you to do. There's some things that God is calling you to a whole nother level of living. But as long as you are fearful and won't move on it, won't act on it, because you think you're going to fail, remember this. A righteous man fails what? Falls seven times, but he gets right back up again. First John 1 and 9 says, confess your faults, and he is faithful and just to forgive you of your sins and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Understand, if you fail, if you fall, you will never get up at the place that you fail. Notice that when you always fall, you fall forward. When you stand up, you're not where you fail. The fact is, is that you cannot move forward with the fear of failing. Close your eyes to fear. Close your eyes to fear. The second thing is this. Shut your eyes. Shut, just, just close your eyes to negative thoughts. Negative thoughts. I'm here to tell you, when you wake up, you have to understand the enemy is waiting there. That's why you have the helmet of salvation. The fiery darts of the enemy come. They can come, but they don't have to stay. You don't have to entertain the thought. When you entertain the thought, it's just like somebody coming over to your house. You, the salesman stands at the door all day long. The enemy is trying to sell you thoughts all day long, standing at the door of your soul, standing at the door of your of your life, waiting to come in. Now, you got a choice. You can say, come on in. I want to hear what you got. Or you can say, step off. I'm shutting the door. I'm shutting my eyes to negative thoughts. That's why you have the helmet of salvation. He says, have this mind that is also in Christ Jesus. You will never, ever exceed your thought life. You won't get beyond what you're thinking. You're always going to go eventually to what you're thinking. Whatever a man thinketh, so is he. So shut your eyes to negative, stinking thinking. What does he say? Pull down the very strongholds of the vain imaginations of the mind. In other words, anything that exalts itself up above the knowledge of Christ, what he can do in your life is stinking thinking and it is thoughts, negative thoughts that you need to shut your eyes to. Here's the third thing. The third thing is this, shut your eyes to negative acts, to negative acts. 
I'm telling you, whenever you start your day, the enemy has something he wants you to do. And it's not always, it's never what God wants you to do. You have to shut it down, shut it down by mortifying the deeds of the flesh. There's some things you can say, hey, the devil made me do it. But most times he didn't. You did it on your own. So you have to shut that down. So when you shut your eyes to fear, when you shut your eyes to negative thoughts, when you shut your eyes to negative acts, here's your takeaway. You then open your eyes to what God has for you and shut the door on everything else. Told Abraham, Abraham, go to a place that I'm going to show you. See it with your spiritual eyes. Go to a place that I'm going to show you. So you're going to have to shut your eyes to everything else and open your eyes to what God has for you. The Lord be with you today. May his face shine upon you, give you peace. I'll see you Monday morning with more morning manna. And I love to see you Sunday because we got a great word for you on Sunday, 930 Virtual New Life. See you then. God bless you. Have a wonderful weekend. Share the manna now. Don't forget. Hey, share the manna. Don't keep it to yourself. Bye now.